Professor Krishnamurti says this requires advocacy by academics in the form of research and new policies to curb the problem. She immediately remarks during a public lecture on indigenous languages and preservation thereof in the capital. This, she says, will not only enable efficient and effective learning, but also serve as a tool in promoting, preserving and protecting cultural norms and values. Yes, languages are dying out and dialects particularly are dying out because you don't have large groups of people speaking. But I don't have exact statistics about the Southern African region. And so I won't be able to tell you about South Africa, but I can tell you this, that almost 6,000 dialects have died out, have disappeared completely from the face of the earth. She indicates that South Africa, which recognizes over 10 indigenous languages, is now forging ahead with plans to officially make this practical medium of instruction in schools from grade 1 until 12. Krishnamurti emphasized that though English remains vital, it should not outweigh an emphasis on indigenous languages. In addition, she points out that traditional knowledge is currently being gathered from within the Vambaja, Ova Herero, and Kwekwe Kovap ethnic groups with the aim of within the next three years publishing a number of books and records to preserve these cultures. Another expert who taught languages for over 20 years, Pietres Benzi, agrees. People cannot transmit knowledge quite adequately in, in a foreign language. And you cannot teach these norms and values in a, in a foreign language. You know, when they get translated, it's something else. So mother tongue should be instructed, should be taught in these lower grades so that you can actually um, uh, strengthen the ties between homes, home environment and school environment. Kaipa Kanji, NBC News, Vinduk.